welcome back to a new vlog. This vlog is going to be such a fun one. We're going to Barcelona. I haven't been to Barcelona in years. I will get to that in a second. It's a long story. We're actually only going to Barcelona as a stopover, but that's a whole other vlog. I honestly can't wait. I have things. I have things that I need to unbox with you. I've just had a delivery arrive this morning, which... <sighs> There are some things in this order that I am just so excited about. My battery is already flashing red. <laughs> Great start, be right back. There we go, <laughs> much better. But actually before, oh my God, I have hair on my face. I will never get around to introing this vlog. Oh my God, I forgot to face mist as well. Okay, now we can intro the vlog. Don't eat that face mist, it doesn't taste good. Wow. Before we get into packing and I tell you about the really fun trip that we have coming up, I actually have something else that I'm really excited to talk to you about. This part of the video is going to contain a paid for integrated partnership with Suri. They are my new toothbrush brand, which I've been using and loving. My old toothbrush gave up the ghost on me. Side note, how many toothbrushes do you think we've gone through? in our lives because I honestly didn't think about it until recently and I was like what happens to all of these toothbrushes it is wild it is wild and the past two toothbrushes I've had have given up the ghost on me for the same reason which is very very frustrating so I'm excited to try a new brand I was in the mood for something new and oh my god is this not like look at this <gasps> how fun is that this is the Surrey toothbrush like how sleek how tiny. I'm used to these clunky toothbrushes, but this is so nice. I'm obsessed. It's like an off-white. Beautiful. Works so well in my bathroom. We also have a green. Very cutesy. Very demure. Very mindful. Anyway, sorry. That will be the only TikTok reference I will make today. Anyway, I've been really enjoying this. I, You know me. I'm a dental nerd. I have talked to you guys about many dental related things on this channel. I don't know why I do this, but I love the feeling of my teeth being clean. I really take care of my teeth. I love go. I'm probably the only person that loves going to the dentist. Like I go twice a year and I love it. It's the best experience. I'm convinced that that is part of the fact that my dentist used to give me sweets after an appointment. That, that doesn't happen anymore, that's not good, but I'm pretty sure that positively reinforced me to love the dentist. Apparently you can buy my love and the cost, the price is sweets. Though I do feel like the cost of my love has gone up as I've gotten older, but that is a different story for a different day. She's already off on a tangent. Back to the toothbrush, like I said, so sleek. It's got this nice like aluminium body to it, so cool. It's really, really thin and I am obsessed obsessed with the wall mount like <laughs> the wall mount is really cute as well it's like a little pebbly effect to it which i really like it goes very well in my bathroom and just it's so nice that it isn't like i need to put ryan's up here as well but it's so nice that it's not like taking up all the space on my sink because that is valuable real estate so yeah big fan Big, big fan of that. Anyway, cute mirror mount aside, it's a sonic toothbrush. It's really, it's got a really nice, powerful, but gentle clean to it. Like it's, you know, sometimes you get a toothbrush and it's really powerful, but it like makes a lot of mess and you just end up like you're foaming and it's going everywhere. It's like the perfect combo. Of, I, I really feel like it's cleaning my teeth, but I'm not like foaming and just like dropping toothpaste everywhere. So I really love it for that. It's also got 40 plus day battery life, which I can't even tell you how much we have been charging our toothbrushes in this house. One of us is always like rotating our toothbrush. Not anymore. I'm so over the moon about this. I have not charged it yet. I haven't charged it yet. That has fooled me. Like I think my last toothbrush I was charging every single week, which is just so long if you go on a week's holiday like it's sometimes running out before i'm even home it's so annoying especially if you forget to charge it before you leave can i just take a regular toothbrush yes do i want to absolutely not i just oh i i cannot do a manual toothbrush it's not for me these also come with the coolest travel case where, where is my travel case look at this travel case it's so sick oh, i love it so cool. You can also plug your charger in to this as well and charge your toothbrush whilst it's in the case, which is just so cool. And actually very unclunky. Thank you to Surrey for an unclunky. Like this is really thin. I feel like it doesn't look it on camera, but it's really, really slim. Whereas my old ones were just huge, huge. So yeah, it's teeny weeny in general. The travel case also teeny weeny. So I'm a big fan. The other really cool thing about this is these heads. They are plant-based heads and they're fully recyclable. So you can send them off to Surrey and they will recycle them for you. How many toothbrush heads have we just thrown in the bin that are not recyclable? I, I'm obsessed. I actually haven't told Ryan about that element of these toothbrushes yet and I just know he's going to be over the moon because he is, I used to think I was a big recycler but that man, he is, he is very green. 
to the point where sometimes we are arguing about whether things are like our biggest argument in the house i think is over whether things are recyclable or not and we're like fighting over which part the bin they go into tell me you don't have children yet or any serious life issues that's our biggest squabble but anyway you can use the code Benaldi to get 20 percent off if you want a surrey toothbrush for yourself which go forth do it they're so good they're so cute i'm just really i'm there's no cons i'm so happy with the toothbrushes so yeah that's my new toothbrush go forth happy shopping i will leave a link in the info box if you want a link to the surrey website and make sure you use the code because that 20 percent off is such a good saving but anyway we need to go i'm so excited to pack for this trip so we need to get upstairs and we need to get unboxing and get packing asap okay we have got the things i have got an obvious order got a revolve order i very rarely have a revolve order but i just wanted to try some different things this time i haven't really felt like super inspired lately like i've been loving pepper mayo like their dresses i find they're really different i think they're super cute there's so much stuff that i like haven't really seen anywhere else before but i wanted to go for a little bit of a different vibe for this trip because we are going to barcelona to then get on a super yacht that then goes from Barcelona to Saint-Tropez and finishes in Monte Carlo. So I'm gonna take you with me to Barcelona. I feel like the super yacht needs its own like vlog. I actually, I can't even believe I'm saying super yacht. Like what? I keep calling it a cruise and people keep telling me off, but if I say the word cruise, like it's just cause that's what I keep calling it. But I keep getting corrected. But anyway, I've got some really fun pieces in this order. I think predominantly for this trip, I want to go very like, neutral very like my usual vibe for the south of france is always very like neutral creams whites like just very sleek however there are some fun pieces in here i kind of want to go greece was very fun like super super fun very y2k i love that vibe i i think for this trip i want to marry the two because boats are just so fun and i think it's like fun to play around but also equally i still want that like cruising along the south of france kind of chic look so we're gonna marry the two together at least that's what i hope anyway so i'm thinking mostly neutral outfits with like pops of fun here and there but anyway i'll get started with the very dull item that i bought from revolve but this is actually very similar to something i already have but in black i have this in red and whilst it's amazing it's not super super wearable but th I, this i saw it and i was like i need this to wear with my capris my capri little cropped trousers i am obsessed with this is off the bat not feeling as structured as my other one but that's not always a bad thing so we've got this high neck like waistcoat i'm gonna need to show you this in the mirror because it's not really gonna do much when i just hold it up but i love the buttons on this they just add that nice little bit of drama but without being too much i love these waistcoats that have a high neckline this with a black skirt this with a pair of trousers like long trousers even skinny black trousers and a pair of boots in the autumn could be really nice throughout the summer with my capris or a skirt or even a pair of shorts i think would just be amazing so i'm really excited this is the more like everyday not on boat trip item out of this order but i couldn't resist i just absolutely loved it and i love my red one so i just knew i'd get a lot of wear out of this there we go all the buttons done up i also bought a bikini which i just couldn't it's so expensive to buy bikinis on revolve like revolve's not cheap however these just looked so cool it's giving like poochie but without without the poochie price tag but i just loved the print and the color of this and look at the oh, Oh, obsessed so these are the bottoms quite wide on the bottom i'm not used to that but look at this top so it goes goes here and then we have like the tie it's gonna be so so nice that swimsuit underneath this cover up like imagine the colors like popping through this yes love i bought this dress for the evenings as a pop of color however it might not be the one we'll see but i did want something that was kind of fun oh i'm not sure i'm not sure mm. so it's long sleeve kind of high neckline but not like high on the neck it's like a straight high neckline and it's got these little corsages on it and then they've got like dangly bits i'm gonna see i'm not convinced and that now that i've held it up but we will see this dress i'm hoping is one of the best bits about this haul there were two dresses on revolve that i was like i need to get those one i've had to order from somewhere else i don't think it's going to arrive in time so that will be more of a wedding 
slash honeymoon outfit. Honeymoon would be so cool, actually. This is, so, I've never seen the back to this. This is so funny. But this is the other dress that I was like, I have to have this. Actually, the dress that isn't going to arrive in time, I put on my Instagram stories the other day. I'll put a photo of it somewhere here go forth and buy it for yourself like i by the time i wear it it will probably not be like seasonally appropriate but that dress i'm so excited to have and to wear so i will link that anyway but you won't see it on this trip but look at this dress i really hope it looks good i really hope it fits like i i can do a blue so i'm hoping that it just fits well because i know blue looks good on me but i'm hoping it's tight enough to not be super long because it's looking kind of long this this looked like a full-on mini on the model then we have this top which i thought would go so beautifully with a cream pair of trousers go like that how do, where the where in the okay so it's like a butterfly and we have like little neck straps you're gonna have to bear with me and see the style because i know some of you off the bat are not gonna like these things but I have a vision. I also bought a new bag, which I was not planning on doing, but I have had this one saved for so long. I just love it. I really love it. And I have this trip, which is my last trip as a fiance, which is actually quite wild. And then I also thought this could work kind of nicely for events around the wedding as well. I love that I got engaged and simultaneously like fell out of love of my everything white era. Great, great timing for me. If you know, you know, Simkai do such fun bags. <laughs> Simkai bags are up there for me with Colt Gaia. Like they just do the funnest stuff. Look at this bag. Oh my god. How do I open it? You know when you get a new bag and you're like, no, how on earth? Woo! This is the best clutch ever. <laughs> oh my god, that's so fun. With an all-white outfit, lovely little baby pink shell bag. Yeah, the inside of this is so nice as well. So smooth it's like a suede so fun this bag and this bag they need to get married i love them wow i'm gonna keep these down actually because i will probably take these two anyway then we also have a little odd muse order i've had my eye on the white trousers for some time now and after getting the white blazer which i think i will have worn in my last vlog i decided it was time to get the matching trousers because they just make such a great combo together i also am waiting on the white halter neck top to come back in stock in my size because that would finish this off perfectly i'm hoping it comes back into stock sometime around the wedding although do i have enough wedding oriented outfits in my wardrobe already yes yes i do i just thought that would be so cool this is going to need some altering but it's nothing a lot of wonder web can't do in the meantime but it's, these are such beautiful trousers i think they're going to be good on the waist i think <laughs> who needs to breathe it's fine so they've got a zip up back which is amazing we've got sweet little faux pockets here i don't really know if you can see my camera's not really doing very well with the white they're gorgeous and long and flowy and they just look like they really cinch you now i did get the halter neck top in black and i also have it already in the lime cream and i think the lime cream is going to be very fun with the white trousers there's a little bit of like fun but like still like really beautiful but i also have the black as well just in case i want to go really monochrome and really chic although to me that gives more like going out in the city than on a boat in the south of france kind of vibes but anyway this top is just gorgeous i know i'll get so much wear out of it with or without the trousers this would be gorgeous with a skirt with a black pair of trousers it's just really stunning these fit really well as well if this fits like the lime cream it's going to fit beautifully the only thing i had done to the lime cream is i had it altered to just be a little bit shorter around my neck but i could have done without that it wasn't an essential and then i got the mini dress <laughs> i have this in red i decided i needed to get it in black i'm hoping i might not need to get this taken up you know it actually looks quite short if i don't need to have this altered i'll be so happy but yeah, just a nice little chic lbd i think i might also take the blue kukai dress i think that's a really nice boat trip dress and then i think like cream trousers and tops like this will just be so nice even these white trousers actually but well, that works really well so my white kuko top with the white trousers and then i could do this little tie front top from mango i've worn this before it still has the tag in it why, why am i like this but anyway this would go really nicely with the trousers as well so i'm thinking like cream is my base hopefully this will be a really nice easy one to pack for if i do just do a lot of neutrals and the base of all of the outfits is neutral and then we can just add in 
fun pieces here and there and then everything is also mix and matchable as well so i don't actually need to pack too much like for crete i packed so much because there wasn't a lot of mix and matching there was actually there was a little bit but there wasn't a ton of mix and matching going on so i think i can really condense my packing fingers crossed and then there'll be more space in my suitcase for my gym stuff because i'm not only going on this trip just me and Ryan, Victoria and Alex are coming, Amelia's coming, I'm so excited to see them. I haven't seen Amelia in so long, so it would be really nice to have a full catch up because otherwise I think the next time I see her is probably going to be my wedding and like that is just, that, that is too much catching up to do, so I'm so excited. Like our schedules have not been aligning. Very much looking forward to that. Oh, I'm gonna take this as well. This is just one of my all-time favorite dresses from Reformation. This is another one that you can just add the funnest accessories to, like this, the pink bag. Yeah. <laughs> and lots of fun shoes go with this dress as well, because it's got a good amount of like, it's not fully maxi, so you get a little bit of ankle, and honestly you can wear like any fun pairs of shoes with this but anyway let's try some clothes dress number one i have pinned it up slightly because otherwise we're working with like a dress that is down here which is not the most flattering look for me it does make me look like i'm dressing up in my mom's clothes but it's thin so it pins up really nicely which is great it's so cute it is a bit roomy you can see there's like excess material around the neck however by the time we arrive onto the boat i am going to be due on so this will be a little bit tighter here and i actually think it will be a really nice fit which is great knowing that because normally i buy clothes and when that time rolls around nothing fits so this is ideal oh my god it's so sweet i just love it it makes me so happy it's so different to anything else i own really fun i know i'll crack this out over and over and over again it's just such a fun dress yes love okay so happy because this if this dress had not been a good one i feel like this would have tainted the way i feel about the entire order does anyone have that where like the the star piece is not a 10 out of 10 and then you just feel lackluster about the fact that you just did a whole entire order this is adorable it's also got like a slightly open back but it does have a strap to it so some people are not gonna like this for the bra situation but i will i just deal i just go without it's fine yeah very happy with this next this is probably the most fun top i own i think slick back hair minimal jewelry for this one maybe even silver jewelry so it doesn't really pop and contrast with the blue then i've got this white pair of trousers from adenola just really really simple they're like cotton not quite a linen but they've still got that relaxed feel they're not too smart i think if i went for like the odd muse trousers they'd be way too smart with this top and it would just almost be a bit jarring but i think this is perfect combo i would even maybe go for either a gold like a that gold clutch maybe or like a raffia bag just to really relax this i think that would be really nice but it's just a really fun little top like the dress code isn't crazy crazy dressy so it's nice to have something that feels dressy but that also mixes dressy and relaxed and yeah that's what i'm trying to go for here but also still being fun so yeah i think this is this is cute i love the back i love that all of these straps have like an adjustable piece to them so you can really tailor it to your body and then i don't get stuck in it when i'm getting in and out of it 10 out of 10 for design it's so beautiful they did have it in i think it was like an orangey an orangey pink and i do love a pink but there was something about the blue which i just thought was so beautiful especially when you're going on a boat trip i would probably just wear like a sandal with this or a low heel nothing too glam yeah i think it's really fun i actually really like this i was a bit unsure this style doesn't normally suit me but i really like the fact that it comes with the neck strap i can't normally wear this style because it needs more support so the neck strap really provides that which is lovely but then i can also undo it to avoid getting tan lines which makes me so happy because i'm really really trying to avoid the tan lines i'm doing really well so far this summer i'm very very happy with it really like this love this little detail here i think that's so beautiful yeah just love the love the print as well so i'm excited to see what the cover-up looks like over the top yes i love this it's so fun i really like the fact that you get the print at the back obviously you can see the bikini bottoms but you can also see the strap and the tie and i just I just love it. This is such a great bikini cover up, by the way, from Monday Swim. I got it last year for Bali and it's just been such a go-to. Literally every trip I go on, I take this and I love it. It washes really well, stays nice and white. Oh, it's just beautiful. So yeah, really excited to wear this on this trip. Yes, this is exactly as I hoped it would be. It's actually better than my red one. It has a tie 
back, which the red one didn't have. For those of you that don't know, it's like a red set. I will pop a photo or a video here. It's from Reformation. It is beautiful. It just didn't fit the way this one does. I had to have it altered on the shoulders. I mean, there is a little bit of gaping on the shoulders, but that's fine. And I had to have it altered at the waist. Whereas this one, I don't have to have altered at the waist. And it cinches, and it looks great. The capris. Capris are kind of hard to style. If like corporate girlies go off on these because they're actually great if you have a smarter style or a way of dressing day to day. For me, I don't, I don't wear, I should wear my shirts more often than I do. I can't lie. I really need to get back into like jeans and shirts life. I basically spend the majority of my time in my Adenola sweats, it's actually criminal. But when I have meetings at the moment, I love wearing my capris and like just a little like body on top, a blazer, my obmused high blazers, they work really well, but this is really nice for when I don't want to wear like a big blazer, but I also don't want to wear something that's as simple as a body. This is perfect. I think this will be so nice going through the winter as well. It's just simple, but statement. It brings like just enough. And I just think the silhouette of these is just beautiful. It's like very similar to the Align sets that are just constantly out of stock now. But yeah, it's just perfect. I'm so happy with it. Okay, love the trousers. Oh my God, my camera's going crazy. You can't see. There we go. The thing I really like about Odd Muse is Amy makes these like curved silhouettes on everything, like the dresses. I'm sure you guys will know like the red dress for example it's got this like pop out like curve silhouette to it and a lot of the items are made with a silhouette like that which if you don't have a curve to your body it gives the illusion of a curve to your body but if you do have a curve to your body it actually fits and then still gives you an amazing silhouette on top of that and it's very very flattering so part of me thinks this is why Old Muse is just doing so so well is because it really does work for everyone like for me trousers do not normally <laughs> fit this beautifully like this is so nice it's so refreshing you can see in the design like it's designed the seams are designed with that like curve look to them but for me that's like just actually how I need a pair of trousers to be <laughs> but anyway I'm so happy with them I'm going to take them up I'm hoping I might be able to do this myself and then have it done properly when I'm back cross your fingers that goes okay for me. I've just popped this on with the lime cream top just to get a feel for it. I think this is really fun, but I'm also going to try on the black. This is the black top. I'm not sure if you'll, you'll be able to tell on camera, but this isn't really fitting as snugly, whereas with the other one, I had this just taken in a fraction so that it really, it kind of lifted, but it also just sat perfectly. I have just like a very short body, so it meant that my top could sit higher up which is in a more flattering point and then also this be like taut as well whereas at the moment it needs to sit a lot lower and then I find I just don't get as much support here and there's a lot more wrinkling to the top than when it sits a little bit higher which I'm pretty sure on all of the taller girls is exactly where it sits as well but I think I could make do with it just for the week and then have it altered properly but what do we think do we prefer the green one i really like this but i really do love the green i think it just works a little bit better for a more summery moment it's really hard to visualize that summery moment today because it's peeing it down with rain but i might go with the green and then give this to the lovely debbie who alters my clothes i haven't seen her in a while so this is gonna be fun i have so many things i think i would want this one taken up ever so slightly which is so annoying because it means i'm probably not gonna be able to have that done before we leave. I don't know, it's too long. It's almost giving me like school. We used to wear school dresses that were black and had little pockets or navy and had little pockets and it just gives me that. But I think if it was just taken up to here, it would be perfect. Debbie's gonna be so pissed because she hates taking up these dresses, which is why I got it in an XXS. In an ideal world, I would get the XS and then have it taken in where I need to have it taken in. However, I know it's a pain for her, so I get the XXS, which fits pretty perfectly I have to say but I just prefer the look of when you've had it taken in exactly where you need it because then I can have like the boobs taken into exactly where I want the boobs and stuff whereas this is still at an XXS not giving the same lift that the red one gives which is just phenomenal but I can't do it to Debbie I just feel so bad for her so just the bottom on this one and yeah I think that would then be perfect but maybe sadly not for this trip I do think the kind of silky lovely cream dresses are going to be way better for this trip than a dress like this so we're having this done in advance for autumn winter okay this is not part of the haul i was actually just trying on outfits and making little outfit combos for the trip and just taking some photos i have this outfit underneath which i just love it's this mango top which i've had for what feels like a 
excuse me, that's me texting Debbie being like, please, can you take my trousers up by Sunday? This mango top I feel like I've had for a bajillion years. And I've just never really found the way that I love wearing it. I've worn it with jeans predominantly. It's nice, I don't love it, but oh my God, with these trousers, which I believe are also from Mango. I think I got them last autumn. They're super long, so I'm about to take them up. They're a good wonder web job, very, very thin. They've got a side zip. They fit perfectly around the waist. So yeah, I'm loving that as like a little underneath outfit along with this bag, very cute. But I wanted an option, like I was just throwing on random jackets because I think I'm gonna need one just in case it gets cold. You know when you just don't know what the situations are gonna be because I've literally, I've done Yacht Week in Croatia and that is literally the only time I've ever really like been on a boat for more than like eight hours. So I don't know if it's gonna be cold. In the evenings, I was looking at jacket options and I've just thrown this on. This is a new one that I have from Pepper Mayo. They actually gifted this to me at a gifting event the other day and it's so nice. It also works so well with the whole, I feel like this isn't really doing it justice, but IRL, this jacket is adorable. I'm going to wear the shiz out of this. But yeah, just trying some bits on now before I throw them in my case, I think this is a really nice one. I really like this. The tones work really well together. Sometimes it's so hard to align your cream and white tones, but this is beautiful. Airport dad is airport dadding. <laughs> There's me trying to go at a leisurely pace, thinking you can stand on these things. And then he's racing ahead. arrived in Barcelona. We actually, we got here late yesterday, but we were just so tired by the time we got here that we just needed food and our bed. The flight actually wasn't too bad. We were a little bit delayed, but then for some reason the passport queue took forever for the world's smallest airport. Like I don't understand. We had some misplaced luggage as well. So it was not, it was not the situation for vlogging, but this morning we have been up. We have been productive queens, haven't we babe? We've been to the gym. He said we have been queens. We have been to the gym, we've been at have breakfast, we've seen Vic and Alex, which was so nice. And I think we are all about to check out. And then we have about an hour until we go on the yacht, on the super yacht, on the big, on the big boat. We're sailing from Barcelona to Saint-Tropez to Monte Carlo. I will update you all on the full details in the next vlog and I will like take you along with me. But for now, I thought I'd just show you the room. We have obviously, it's it's lived in, bear with us. We're going on the Ritz-Carlton yacht with 111 skins. They've left us all of these nice things. Look at this. Dear Susie and Ryan, welcome to Barcelona. We hope you had a pleasant journey. So cute. I'm so excited to be here with the 1-1 one -one skin team and to get to try more of their products. I've tried a few, but there's so many more here. So many nice things. I am obsessed with these hats. They've got the Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection. That is the, the boat that we're going on. And then it's got 1-1-1 one -one -one skin on the back. How cute is that? We're gonna have matching hats, babe. There's two. We already matched. There's two for a reason. <laughs> Should we both board the boats wearing these hats? You're so excited about that. I did actually think about wearing it with the blue shirt that I've got. Cute. Do you ever look at these and just think, if I wore this, would I be the only one wearing it? Like... Exclusive. <laughs> but I mean on the boat, like is everyone else going to wear their hats or will it just be me? But I think they're cute. I think they're super cute. And we also have a matching Siri to which is so funny because they very kindly sponsored this vlog. And this is not, this was not planned. We literally got here and I was like, no freaking way and it matches the blue and i was literally just thinking the other day like i i felt like i picked the wrong color it's like the universe heard me how cool is that i've got a suitcase to put it all in i've got little one one skin slippers which i love perfect for the boat i'm excited to try all of this skincare as well oh my god the fans oh my god the fans the fans have personalization that's so cool oh there's two there's one for you as well babe there you go nice. just what you've been wanting finally got a fan <laughs> whoa someone needs to teach me how to use this <laughs> Interesting. The long mirror is in complete darkness in this room, so it is time for an OOTD in the bathroom. I'm really loving today's outfit because today I am wearing, for the first time on camera, I'm wearing my battered coin clip-on earrings from my Aurelia collection. This is from the vintage section of the edit, so there is a limited amount of these. There might still be some available when this video goes live, so go and have a look and see. Oh, 
they're just so beautiful i think they work with this outfit perfectly they're clip-on so if you don't have your ears pierced these are perfect and they're just so beautiful and the quality of these is amazing but at the same time they're not too heavy which is perfect for a clip-on because no one wants a clip-on that's like weighing their ear down too much but also at the same time they're not hollow and like too light so like they just feel amazing and i just love them i think they work so well with this outfit so this waistcoat is from i can't remember where it's from oh my god you guys will have seen it earlier in this vlog i actually i am delusional right now you guys we have two vlogs on the go the aurelia edit went live yesterday i have my charlotte mills collection going live on friday which i thought was thursday but i think it's friday but it's the 30th regardless i am delusional like if i am just waffling and just talking and not making sense in this vlog that is why i'm actually delusional at this point but yeah i'm also wearing the capri trousers i feel like i might have showed you this outfit basically earlier in the vlog but yeah i'm really excited to be wearing it today i just love this waistcoat it is so cinched because of the tie back love it and then i'm just wearing my ysl sliders because we're going to go for a little walk and then i'm going to change into my chanel perspex ones ready for the boat okay cases are packed we are getting ready to walk i've got all of my cute one one skin bits in the new suitcase i really love this taupey color it's gorgeous so yeah all my one one skin bits these towels are so soft this is amazing and then we've obviously got the suri toothbrush which i'm taking home with me because i'm obsessed reminder that if you want to use my code you can i will leave it on screen for you but yeah i'm excited to get this home because i've been loving using these toothbrushes so much also i am still yet to have to charge this toothbrush it's been a couple of weeks still haven't had to charge it a star a star love it so if you want to buy one make sure you use my code because it gets you a good discount off but thank you so much to suri for sponsoring this vlog and for the new toothbrushes my old one was terrible so i'm very excited to have had them change my tooth life anyway shall we get walking the sun's coming out. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's so pretty, so bright. Wow. Yes, that is what we want. Let's go. Just putting on some more bracelets before we go. So we've got the cross tennis bracelet from my Aurelia edit. This is so, so nice. I actually have two of these, so I'm going to wear two. And then I have the textured T-bar bracelet. I love bracelets. The more, the merrier. There we go. Also wearing my pebble ring. I was wearing the domed ring, but I've swapped it out. For the pebble spoiler they did not go on a walk i sat and had what i think was my third matcher of the day instead and now i actually i, I do feel over caffeinated now guys oh. i can't lie I've, I've reached my limit we are on our way to the boat gang's all here oh no <laughs> wow oh my god this boat is huge i'm scared i'm scared, I'm so scared. Do you think we have enough luggage, guys? Do you yeah. remember that we've been manifesting a boat trip this year? <laughs> we were. I even have it on my wallpaper. I know you do. Like boat trip time, baby. We have been manifesting some real good things. We've done some good things. Oh. We should start asking for ridiculous things. What room are you guys? Yes, we should. Uh, seven, three, oh. Six, five, nine. Oh, we're seven for seven. No! <laughs> See what she does to me? She makes me have more FOMO and then makes me feel bad about being alone. Because you know what? It's normally me that's left out and I was like, I'm going to be the one left out. I'm going to be the one. I was right, I'll ask you. It's definitely me that's like on a different floor or something like miles away. You know, I'm sure they're all next to each other. No, mine's below. Who's on a different floor? You've got top floor views. I mean, you're the next floor. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. We were just saying, yes. you know, we've been manifesting a boat trip like all year and all last year. That's Taylor now boat trip. Taylor, so this is my one. point. We should start asking for fucking ridiculous things. Yeah. Yeah. Like I would like a dancing unicorn. I would Manifest. like a Cartier watch. I mean, that's that's kind of realistic. But okay, what no, are you? It's not. What's your ridiculous Child. ask? So many, so many things. Okay, I'll come back. We <laughs> need to think of things. Like, what do I want? A Susie's dancing... dressed to fly to Ibiza. A fabulous wedding, maybe. You know, those, those are yeah, realistic those are manifestations okay. that we need, like, phrase. Like, if we can, a do, if we can do a super yacht, then we need to be thinking big. Yeah, we do. Big. Okay. Private jet to Barbados. Ooh, nice. That's kind of nice. Yeah. That's a long yeah. way. That's a long that's way on a PJ. Like yeah, well, that's a PJ. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Love it. We'll think. We'll get back to you. That'll be. That'll be in the next vlog. Wow. Oh my god. This actually makes my tummy feel a bit bunny. It's collecting. Gosh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Wow. 
the sheer size. <laughs> Memes, are you excited? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> are you excited? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ask again, ask again, ask again. <laughs> Memes, are you excited? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Do you like going on big boats? Have you been on? Boats. Big boat. Do you like big boats? That is a big ass butt. <laughs> That's a big butt. She touched the butt. We don't each other. Yeah, me too. Like me too. Like we don't like to be far from yeah. each other. I need to know I can run to your room and be like, do you have a scarf? <laughs> can we also discuss the fact that you're going back to the south of France? <laughs> you should just take up residency there. I love it. It is amazing. I just live. What a life you live. <laughs> Here we go. You ready for our final vacay as fiancés? Last last voyage before the ring doesn't really have a a good ring to it. Yeah, I, so many people have said that to me. They're like, I couldn't do this, and I was like, Oh my god, I hope I'm okay. Oh my god, we're on the boat. We're She's on the boat. Ah. We also have a lot of activities planned during the days, which you will find on your activities page. On the way to our suite. Now we're going to the last suite. <laughs> and so this, one. this would be your suite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. And then just to let you know, your suite ambassador will be with you shortly to explain everything to you. Wow. Oh my god. <gasps> Oh, there's two closets. Oh my god. Ah. Whoa. Oh my god. Ah. Babe, they've got the diptyque that you liked. Amazing. Ah, I hope they have the shampoos as well. Cause girl did not bring shampoo. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. This when Once we leave the port, this view is going to be insane. Oh my god. All I can say is, oh my god, I have no words. I have no vote. The vocab has left the chat. You're already raiding the minibar. Gotta check what snacks are always. Whoa. Wow. That's crazy. So we have finished having lunch, had a good old catch up. It's actually so hard to vlog when me, Vic and Amelia get on a press trip together. I actually think one of them said, she was like, I can't vlog until we've fully caught up because we just talk so much and nothing gets done, especially as we haven't been together, all three of us in so long. It's basically been all of the summer. Ooh, people keep helicoptering in and it's the bougiest thing alive i will never get over this the helicopter it's just it's, she's just not stopping so i'm just gonna have to carry on anyway but we've got a little bit of time now before we set sail to get ready for sail away drinks and then we are all gonna have dinner together me vic amelia charlotte who is also with us and the one one skin team which will be so nice I also really need to get unpacking and get all of my clothes sorted. I am, I'm at that stage in my life where I actually have to unpack when I get to a, a hotel or anywhere. Once I am in my room, I have to like, at least unpack like the essentials. I cannot live out of the suitcase anymore. So I need to do that, get ready for dinner. And I'm gonna leave you guys here with the lovely sound of the helicopter. That wasn't really how I wanted to end this vlog, but it's just not stopping. It's on the ground, but it's just still spinning. Crazy. Oh, is it taking back off? Oh, she's moving. Oh, bye. That tiny little thing made all of that noise. Oh, it's so peaceful now. But anyway, I think I'm gonna leave it here for this vlog. I'm so sorry if this has been slightly chaotic, but it's just been honestly the busiest week of my life. It's been a wild week, but thank you so much for joining me. I'll be back with you next weekend for more boat trip content, more yacht trip content. Oh my God, it's gonna be so much fun. I can't wait. So yeah, I will be back with you next weekend. I hope you have all enjoyed this vlog. Love you, bye.